we're given this ideal op amp and we need to find the s domain transfer function h of s when it's equal to our v naught over vg for our circuit more h of s equals v naught over vg are in the notes linked below the like button but looking at this we can see that we have a node right here and a node right here we're going to analyze uh, this is going to be our vn for the negative right here this is going to be our vp for the positive right here and we know that our vp is equal to our vn this is going to help us when we write our equation so writing our equation we are going to use the node voltage method so we have some current flowing over here we have because of negative feedback since this is an op amp and it's a negative we're going to get negative feedback we're going to have some feedback from our v naught coming in this way to our node and then some coming over this way to our node and then the same thing or similar thing for our vp so looking at our vn first we can write this as vn over the 20 kilo ohm resistor and then we can add to this the vn minus our v naught because of negative feedback divided by 25 kilo ohms and then we are going to have the plus we are going to have vn minus v naught and this is all over this capacitor and we need to use the s domain so i've made a little bit of an error here when i'm talking about these v's they should have an s behind it we'll just omit it um, for simplicity but this should be like a vns because it's in the s domain and then same thing with the rest of these so to convert this capacitor to the s domain we actually have to do this so our capacitor is z of c and this is equal to 1 over s over c and our c is 10 nano farads so what we can do is plug this into a calculator and this is going to give us 100 times 10 to the negative or not negative sorry 10 times the sixth divided by s so this is our capacitor and when we write this in here we're just going to have 100 times 10 to the 6 divided by s and then we can do a equals to 0 since we've covered all of the parts in here now it would be good to simplify this so we can combine like terms we're going to take our v of n and then we are going to have this 1 over 20k in here plus this 1 over 25k plus and then we have this part and for this part we're just going to flip it over um, because we have a numerator over a numerator over a denominator and then we are going to get s divided by 100 times 10 to the sixth and so this is going to be the left side and now we can look at the right side we're going to move everything else over so our v naughts are going to be over here we're going to have v naughts and then inside of here we have a 1 over 25k plus a s over our 100 times 10 to the sixth and then from here well to simplify this further what we can do is we can multiply everything by 100 times 10 to the sixth and this is going to do a couple of things for us so our vn is going to be a lot simpler we won't have anything in the denominator anymore up top here we are going to have a 5,000 from this part and then a 4,000 from this part we can just simplify this and this is going to give us a 9,000 and then we have this plus s and so that's it for our vn for our v naught we are going to have this be 4,000 and so inside of here we're going to have basically a 4,000 plus s so this is our v naught and then we can circle this and say well this is going to be the equation for the first part this first vn node and now we can solve for our vp so our vp is going to be similar we have vp and then it's going to be minus this vg over this 50 ohm resistor so you write it like this and to this we are going to add the vg over this inductor for this inductor we are going to have to change it into the s domain it's going to be z of l is equal to an s times 25 times 10 to the negative 3 because of the micro right here or the milli sorry m is milli u is micro so we have this vg and then it's going to be over s 25 times 10 to the negative 3 and this is all equal to 0 
Now, we also want to simplify this. So we are going to have our VP. Also, I don't know why I put VG here. This should obviously be a VP because this VP is over this inductor, not the VG, the VG is over here. So we'll have a VP here and now we can simplify some things. So we're gonna have VP one over the 50 plus one over S25 times 10 to the negative three. And this is gonna be equal to our VG over 50. We have this equation and we can also simplify it. To simplify this one, it's going to be the same thing. We are just going to look at what we have and we're gonna multiply everything by 50 S. And if we multiply everything by 50 S, we're going to get that our VP is being multiplied by the S plus 2000. And this is equal to V, G, and then we have an S over here. And so this is going to be our equation. Now, we want to solve for our H of S. And our H of S is V naught over V G. So we should try to make our two equations look like this. Well, we know that this VP right here is equivalent to a VN. So what we can do is solve for the VN here and then plug it into this part and then we will have a V naught and a VG in here and then we just need to reorganize it. So we can say that our VN is equal to a V, G, and then we'll just have the S out front and this is all being divided by our S plus 2000. And so now we can plug it into here. Plugging into here, we'll just set this equal to, we are going to have a S VG, and this is all divided by um, S plus 2000. And then on the top also we have 9000 plus S. And then this is going to be equal to a V naught, a 4000 plus S. So this is our equation. And don't really worry about this, this should just be actually an arrow because we're going to it. We want to get our V naught over our VG. So what we can do is we can divide both sides by this and then divide both sides by our VG. If we do this, we are going to get an S and this is going to be multiplied by our 9000 plus S and this is all going to be divided by our S plus 2000 and then we are going to have the S plus 4000 and then this will be equal to our V naught over VG which is exactly what we wanted right here and we found it. So this is going to be our H of S and we can circle this as it is our answer. Looking the over the answer, if we reveal it, we can see that we have a 9,000 here. We have an S, this S out front, then an S plus 9,000, and then an S plus 2,000 on the bottom, and then an S plus 4,000, which is what we have. Now for part B, we want to find the time domain V naught T if our VGT is equal to 10 UT. We need to be in the S domain before we find our T. And we'll write this as part B. Given our VGT is equal to a 10 UT, we need to convert this into the S domain. And we'll just call it SD. And to convert it to the S domain, there's a um, notes linked below the like button on page, I believe, 50. And it tells us the conversion for this. The conversion is basically, well, we have some constant times U of T. And this U of T is going to be equal to the constant over S. So in simpler terms, we basically have U of T equal to 1 over S. So when we rewrite this in the S domain, we are going to have a 10 over S. And this is equal to our VG, because it's VG right here, but it's in the S domain. And this really should be V naught S over VGS. So now we can plug this in and solve. So our VGS is 10 over S. And then, so knowing this, we can rewrite our right side as V naught S, and this is being multiplied by S, and this is being divided by our 10. So now what we can do is we'll take all of this, 
and we are going to multiply it by 10 over s and this will give us our v naught s by itself so if we were to do this well we would be able to cancel out the s with this s obviously this whole side would cancel out right here and then we would have a 10 on top and this would be multiplied by our 9000 plus s over our denominator and so this is what our equation is going to look like we can set it equal to a v not s using differential equations we're going to say well we have this a over s plus 2000 and then we have this b over s plus 4000 and then we can use the heavy side cover up for this so using the heavy side cover up we are going to have our a divided by s plus 2000 and this is equal to all of this and so knowing this well if we cancel our s plus 2000 from both sides we're going to get a simpler equation and then we could say our s would have been equal to zero or it would have been undefined it would have been at zero if we just plugged in s is equal to negative 2000 so we can plug this in here and from this we are going to get that our a is equal to 35. So this is our A. And then we're going to do the same thing for B. We're going to have B over S plus 4,000 in this case. And then this is going to be equal to our equation as well. And so we can cancel out our S plus 4,000. We'll plug in an S is equal to negative 4,000. And then plugging this in, we're gonna get that our B is equal to a negative 25. So those are our A's and B's. And now from here, we can look back into this equation right here and from this equation we're going to plug in our values we are going to have a 35 over s plus 2000 plus a negative 25 over s plus 4000 and then in the same section in the notes linked below the like button we have the equation or the transformation from s to t of e negative a t equal to 1 over s plus a and so we can transform this and this is going to be at 35 e negative 2000 t and then we're going to have a minus 25 e and this should be a negative 4000 t and so revealing the answers we have 35 out front e negative 2000 and then we have a negative 25 and then we have a negative 4,000. So those are the answers to that problem. And just as a reminder, our B starts off over here, and then we go over here once we plug in our 10 over S. And so that's it for B. Now we need to solve for C. In part C, we need to find the steady state express for our V naught T. And then we're given that our VGT is equal to eight cosine 2000 T. That's important, and that's important because since we're dealing with steady state, that means this is going to be the same because this right here is omega. In steady state, it's the same. So our omega is going to be 2,000. Now knowing this, we can find the rest of it. So we are going to have to take this 8 and multiply it by the hjw. So we'll have hjw like this. And then inside of here, well, this is going to be equal to the V naught JW, and then this is over our VG JW. And so this is going to be equal to what we wrote here earlier uh, before we canceled the S. That's important. Um, the S is still in here. It's not canceled. We only canceled it because when we were writing it out here. And we are going to replace our S's with W's. And we're doing this because sine, if we look at the notes, is equal to our omega over s squared plus w. And cosine is very similar to this. And we are trying to get it to look like this. So we're going to replace our s's with w's. And so s is equal to w. And we know w is our omega, which is equal to 2,000. So inside of here, we are going to have the square root of our omega squared and actually we'll 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 do the square root in a second because there's a reason behind that so we'll just have our omega and then we'll have our w plus 9000 and then we're going to have our omega plus 2000 and then an omega plus 4000 and remember we're just substituting 
omega in for s. And also, I'm going to block off this so we don't get confused. Now, we're going to be looking at this bottom part. Well, it's squared, so it might be a good idea to square everything inside of here. But to do that, we'll also have to take the square root because we can't just add a square. So over here, we'll have a omega squared, a 2,000 squared, and the same thing here. We're going to have an omega squared, 4,000 squared, and then the square root over all of this. And the same thing with this omega out here, and then the same thing with these in here. And so that is what our equation will look like. If we plug in 2,000 for omega, and we do all of this out, we are going to get that our answer from here is 1.46. And we're going to take this 1.46 and we're going to multiply it by this out here. So we're going to have 1.46 times 8. And remember this is from this. And so after we do this, we are going to get an answer of approximately 11.66. And so this is going to go out front here. So far, we have 11.66 cosine we know our omega is 2000 t plus, and then we need to find our angle. Well, to find the angle, we're going to take the pole in x's. Uh, we're dealing with poles, and so we are going to have an L h, because poles have to be on the left, j w, and this is equal to 90 degrees. And then we're going to be specifying this in here. So if we have something on the top, we're going to add it, otherwise we're going to subtract it if it's in the denominator. So we will have a plus, we're going to deal with this w plus 9000 first. We're inside of here, we are going to have a tangent, negative one, and this is going to be the omega divided by r9000. So it's going to look like this. And then we're going to have a minus because we're in the denominator now and we'll have a tangent, negative one. We have an omega over 2000 and then we have a minus tangent negative 1 oh and then we have an omega over 4000 and then plugging this into a calculator we are going to get approximately 31 degrees so we can just plug in here because uh, there's there's nothing up here there's no angle up here we can just plug in a 31 degrees so 31 degrees here and so if we reveal this we can see that is our answer and that's all the steps that we would go about for solving this problem. At the beginning, or at the top, we have step A, or part A. Then we have B right here, which trails over back to the right this way over here. And then lastly, we have our C.